Hey, people who say that they were trafficked for years gathered on the steps of the state capitol in downtown Sacramento. Uh, they say it's a problem that has plagued the state of California for a very long time. So their message today to lawmakers that is to support a bill that they argue will get human traffickers off the streets. But as Fox 40's Aton Wallace reports for us, that bill faced a lot of opposition as it appeared before lawmakers this afternoon. For Odessa Perkins, just walking on the sidewalk brings up traumatic memories from her childhood in Bakersfield. I was a very little girl. I should have been playing with Barbie dolls. But instead of doing that, she says she experienced years of sex trafficking. When I first started being touched, I was about four or five. I was penetrated between six and seven, maybe eight years old. It's hard to remember. It was so long ago. Um, and around 13, I started being sold. Sold, she says, by men who took advantage of her innocence. I had to meet my perpetrator at different stores. And once I would meet him at the stores, they would take me to different hotels and I would have to do whatever they needed and whatever they asked. And that was it. But new legislation from State Senator Shannon Grove of Bakersfield would change how the law defines human trafficking. Senate Bill 1042, as it's called, would define human trafficking as a serious and violent felony and would include it as a strike under the California Three Strikes Law. That could increase jail time for human traffickers. We need to make sure that the perpetrator that committed these horrific crimes against them is locked up and put in prison for the longest time possible. Senator Grove showcasing this sign as well as many others today. It reads that every 30 seconds someone becomes a victim of human trafficking, all the more so why she says human traffickers need to be put behind bars. Her bill was co-authored by Democratic State Senator Susan Rubio. Please go ahead. But in the end, the legislation did not receive the majority support it needed to pass in the Senate Public Safety Committee this afternoon, with some arguing increased jail time is not the answer. They're not being trafficked because the sentence isn't harsh enough. They're not being trafficked because it's not a strike, because the person's only getting 12 or 20 years in prison instead of life in prison. They're getting trafficked because what society has done to them. Perkins is hopeful the bill will come up again in future legislative sessions. We have a voice and we shall be heard. A voice she says she'll continue using to speak out against human trafficking. At the Capitol, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.